This is one of the coolest things I've ever wired in my life. It's a uh, regular old uh, Les Paul uh, Gibson uh, studio model. And the uh, customer wanted to hook up the bags, piezo saddles. You want to come over here, Scotty, and maybe get a little bit of zoom in on that. The bags, acoustic guitar, piezo saddles. And I ran a bushing for the wires through the top of the guitar. And the wires go over to the cavity. And notice we still have the two uh, regular passive pickups. And we have a volume for each of the pickups as normal. We have a universal tone for the passive pickups. Then we have a volume for the piezos. So this has two sounds. It has acoustic guitar sound, electric guitar sound. What's different about this one is, whereas a lot of times you wire these up, you have a regular mono jack, and you just run it out into an amp, and you blend between acoustic and, uh, and passive pickups. This one, what we did with this one was, we, had a, uh, we hooked it up so that we could run a stereo cable. This is a TRS cable, tip ring and sleeve with um, the uh, Y at the end of it. So you can actually run it into two amps. So the ring side we run into the acoustic amp and the tip side we run into electric guitar amp. And here's just what's so incredibly cool about it. You can actually run acoustic and electric guitar sound out of two separate amps simultaneously. This is just the coolest thing I've ever had to wire up. Let's let the uh, We'll let the box warm up. So we're running straight in to both amps in a Y cable. And uh, it's, it's just great. I mean, I just love this thing. Um, I'm going to have Scotty get over here with the camera when I get these amps get warmed up. And um, there we go. There's the box. All right. Now we'll turn on the acoustic amp. And this is the uh, bags. The bags hex saddles are running through the acoustic amp. So you want to get over here and like get behind me, we can get a good idea of what the stereo field is like. You know, oh, yeah. both of these. All right. So here we're running, we're running the saddles over here. Let me turn the this side down. acoustic and electric guitar at the same time. One's running out of an acoustic amp, the electric guitar is running out of the electric amp. guitar amp will have two inputs. So all you would do is you would just run your electric guitar amp with two inputs and use both of them. As long as you've got two inputs that are the same, both normal inputs like this amp has, you run your Y cable. This is a stereo up here. Let them get a look at this. See, there's the cable right there. You see how it's split? Like a, looks like a headphone jack. That's a stereo. That's called a tip, ring, and sleeve. That's a TRS cable. All right? It's wired that way inside the guitar. So you run, this splits off into two mono quarter inches. So you put that into two inputs on the amp, like that. Let the amp warm up again. What's great about this is you can run it. Now I'm running the whole setup through the amp. Now I'm running piezos and 
pickups, acoustic and electric, through the amp. Okay, if I want to take down the acoustic, I can take it down. I can take it all the way out. I can blend it. Just acoustic. But it's a great setup, so if you want to get this done, you can uh, get these saddles from, um, you usually get them off eBay, uh, get a good price on them for anywhere from around these Tunematic saddle bridges. They fit a standard Les Paul, so they won't fit the mono price, but they will fit a standard Les Paul. Uh, you can get them for around uh, 175 bucks off eBay, free shipping. They also make them for Strat, and uh, we can wire Strat the same way. But it's a pretty cool setup, so if you want this done at Folkstone, just let us know. Also, this one's got the Irvana nut mounted on there, so it has uh, great intonation. And uh, appreciate Scotty helping me make this video. What do you think of it, Scotty? That thing sounds incredible, especially through the two amps. It sounds like two guitars it being does. played at the same time. That is insane. Yeah, I that, think it is. That is insane. It's really cool. I mean, it's about the coolest thing I've done. You know, I mean, I, I, I love this thing. So uh, you get the best of both worlds. I mean, some people would say, well, it doesn't really sound like a true acoustic guitar. Well, it doesn't. It's not... Uh, That's not, pretty close for an electric. It's very close. That was nuts. Yeah, it's, it's good enough. But, I mean, it's you don't have um, bronze strings. Now, I'm sure if you put bronze strings on it, hey, you know, it's probably going to get pretty close. But you can't use bronze strings with... Uh, electromagnetic pickups. So you got to use these type strings. So, but anyway, um, I think it's as good as you can get. I mean, uh, for an acoustic sound, I like the bags over the Fishman. And there's no battery in this, by the way. No battery. Uh, it's all passive, a nice passive volume control. It's got its own bleed off on it. I've uh, also installed volume bleed off circuits in this guitar with an orange drop, orange drop uh, capacitor for the tone. So everything is really working great, and I'm sure this customer is just going to be delighted when he gets his guitar back. Bye.